वेलकम टू कमोडिटी इंडिया एंड जी टू एफ टू टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन सर वी आर ऑनर टू हैव अशोक मित्तल हु इज द सी ई ओ ऑफ किसान धन गुड मॉर्निंग सर वॉट इज द कोर बिजनेस एक्टिविटीज ऑफ एस एल सी एन कस्टमर्स एंड हाउ डू यू वैल्यू टू देर बिजनेस कैन यू प्लीज इलाबरेट दिस एस एल एस सी एम और सोहन लाल कमोटी मैनेजमेंट इज ए वेयर हाउसिंग कंपनी विच इज एस्टेब्लिश इन टू थाउजेंड नाइन इट हैज गॉट एक्विटीज फ्रॉम मैनी प्राइवेट एक्विटी फंड लाइक नेक्सस मे फील्ड एवर स्टोन एंड आई सी सी ए बैंक अक्रॉस पैन इंडिया स्प्रेड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विच इज डूइंग वेयर हाउसिंग सर्विसेज इट इज एम्पेंडल विद एम सी एक्स ऑल्सो एंड द की एक्टिविटी इज इन टू वेयर हाउसिंग क्वालिटी एस एंग सर्टिफाइंग एंड ऑल्सो नो वेयर पोस्ट हार्वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट दिस इज वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन द इन द कंट्री विच इन टू दिस पर्टिकुलर स्पेस ओके सर पोस्ट हार्वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट हाउ यू आर डीलिंग विद योर कंपनी सर see what we actually we do is uh, we provide the warehousing so when when the farmer is putting goods uh, somewhere they they need a quality warehousing services where we can put the goods once we put the goods there we take care of their fumigation we take care of their uh, uh, quality management we take care of uh, the goods from all uh, aspect in terms of quality management and then we we also provide uh, uh, finance to them we uh, we help them in procurement so any anything and everything whatever is required in terms of uh, management of quality that we take care of. you have joined as a ceo of the warehouse uh, receipt financing business uh, can you help us understanding the industry and uh, business uh, about how you uh, you are like uh, financing and warehouse in warehousing space what actually happens is that uh, when there is lot of wastage of goods happen as per uh, government of india estimates the wastage on goods is very high what we do is we ensure that the wastage of goods is minimal it, it from Say around six percent, it is point five percent. Now, on the other hand, there are also challenges which the grains or feed industry faces is that they don't get uh, a financing done because banks have got their limits. Bank has got overall limits for the corporates. Bank has got limits for the particular commodity. Banks uh, need lot of collateral. So, what we thought was we should provide finance to the farmers, to the stockies, traders, importer, exporters who need you no know, timely finance on the stocks. in this whole business the timing is actually very important so we provide finance to them on the stocks which they keep on slcm warehouses so our idea is to to uh, to very quickly process the whole uh, documentation take minimum documents keep the commodity as collateral and provide finance them at the attractive uh, commercial terms now if you see there, there are a lot of uh, nbfc companies in the country but as a matter of fact the nbfc is focused only and only on uh, agri commodities or on the warehouse receipts are quite less and they have lot got lot of restriction and especially they look more on to who is the borrower right so they look at the credit worthy net of the client whereas we go in a different uh, uh, style we look at what is the commodity what is the volatility of commodity what is the value at risk as far as commodity is concerned because we are financing the commodity and not the the borrower hence our thought process or the philosophy is, is quite different and that is where we are able to add value to this particular industry can you just elaborate what is a warehouse receipt and how it is financed and how does it help producer or processors and uh, how it is different from uh, working capital what happens is uh, a warehouse receipt is nothing but uh, a, a receipt issued when somebody deposits goods in the warehouse okay. so when we deposit goods in the warehouse we are supposed to issue a receipt which which has got certain uh, uh, say uh, columns in that which will specify who has deposited what is the quality what is the quantity where how it has been stored in our case we also ensure that wherever uh, required it is wdra uh, approved warehouse in our case that is one uh, aspect of this now when when people finance in today's world lot of people think about exchange traded commodities so we go beyond the exchange traded commodity we finance to the commodities which are not necessarily traded on the exchange so, second yeah. thing is in terms of quality of uh, uh, commodity uh, it's not necessary that chana or wheat has to be of the same quality which is traded on the commodity exchanges so we finance to the commodity which are not traded on the exchange or many times not really you know as per the quality parameters over the exchange so they might have different rates so we take those rates into consideration and then provide finance on this so can you please list out your uh, commodities which you are like uh, find uh, specially you are handling it now you just now you listed some yeah. of the special commodities 
as a matter of fact there is uh, no such list because we can find any commodity anywhere in the country and in any warehouse which is managed or controlled by us so that we have security of the commodity but still our focus is on grains and feeds we do lot of pulses we do chana moong ur urad tur we do wheat we do rice paddy we do guar seed we do castor seed we do uh, mentha oil so any commodity which we think that we are able to you know assess we are able to manage it well and where the warehouses are under our control uh, either they are owned by us or the collateral management is done by us we finance that in fact uh, i would like to say that uh, uh, there is a gap in terms of demand uh, for the agri commodity financing and whatever people provide so we are trying to bridge that gap so whether they are farmers or traders we provide finance to them what is the potential growth opportunity for a warehouse receipt financing business in india and how can this business be grown without uh, sustainability increasing the cost to the uh, processor you would have seen that demand for uh, agri commodity financing is huge because people have lot of restriction in terms of uh, financing specific commodity note financing specific commodity charging very high margin charging very high rate of interest when uh, the traders finance to the farmers they charge very high rate of interest so our idea is that we fin- provide finance to the farmers at a much cheaper rate with ease without uh, getting too much into documentation part or processes but follow the standard procedure and follow the the rule that if as long as we understand the commodity and we are able to ascertain the value at risk we should be able to finance to them and the scope for this is huge because if you look at uh, uh, pulses uh, or look at grains the value which we produce or consume is huge so i think even if we finance around 1% this can be around 7 to 10000 crore rupees uh, financing is it uh, like worth for giving value or like giving lesson value to the farmers so that it don't affect your business like uh, by giving profitable at the same time and gaining profitable in your business is it worth for you like uh, can you able to uh, give uh, yes, maintaining yes what we do is we provide uh, a discount to the farmers who take loan from us so we give them lower rate of interest to the farmers because so that they are able to repay it easily mm-hmm. also we uh, keep calculating the value at risk on the commodity on the prices and then there is a mark to market concept for the commodity the idea is farmers should be able to access to the financing facility more easily so for us uh, it's a business where we finance to the smallest farmer and to the largest uh, uh, trading house as well so for us it doesn't make difference as long as it makes sense in terms of understanding the commodity cost of financing is higher in india but uh, how can that channel, uh, challenges can be overcome uh, you are right cost of financing is quite high in india because a lot of factors involved in terms of demand and supply and the people who provide the finance yeah. so as a matter of fact banks provide finance at a cheaper rate to uh, agri commodity but they have got their limitations not everybody is able to approach bank because of various uh, uh, credit parameters on the other hand the trader provide uh, finance to the farmers which is quite expensive so that is where we come into picture where in, where kisan dhan comes into picture where slc m comes into picture so to these people we give them very very competitive rate in terms of warehousing then we give the very competitive rate as far as credit is concerned so our idea is that to make it affordable to almost everyone yeah. on the regulatory side uh, what are the challenges you are facing and how these challenges can be overcome uh, as far as uh, warehousing is concerned uh, from regulatory perspective i think the whole focus goes on to the warehousing as an infrastructure so everybody talks about how the warehouse should be size should yeah. be construction should be yeah. i think the the focus should be warehousing management so warehouse ownership or construction is very different from warehousing management so our skill is warehousing management so the whole focus should be the organization or the people who are managing the warehouse how good they are in management of warehouse how much well capitalized they are what is their uh, you know net worth whether they will be able to manage the value at risk as far as commodity is concerned so these are the parameters which are mostly ignored so which should be taken into account when you look at a, a warehouse service provider so warehouse service provider is not somebody who is constructing the warehouse but somebody who is able to manage the warehouse as well is able to wa- manage the value at risk and able to protect the commodity so management is more important than having the physical uh, uh, warehousing i think these these issues can be taken care of uh, quite well how you are feeling about this conference and uh, how uh, what kind of message you are going to give our uh, viewers i think teflis has been doing great effort i remember few years back they have done grain asia so now again they have started this uh, initiative in terms of doing something for the grain and feed industry 
uh, this was much uh, needed because this industry has been kind of overlooked. If you see the, the volumes on grain on, on commodity exchanges is uh, also quite low. So uh, no lot of focus is required and this uh, I think is a great initiative taken by, by the industry people and Teflas. I think uh, this is going to go a long way. Uh, I wish them all the best. Thank you Mr. Asok Mittal.